morning to today i have charlie with us who specifically focuses on demand generation and growth hacking which are his passions he considers himself a chameleon marketer which basically means that he can roll up his sleeves and do activities in smaller companies but then when it becomes when it comes to taking charge he will become the leader and guide the whole team let's welcome charlie on 10 minutes of hiring wisdom where he will tell us about where he's currently working which is one of the top linkedin uh, top rated linkedin startups and then he will tell us whether his company is hiring or not hi charlie how are you doing Hey, everyone. Yeah, good to be on. Uh, and yeah, thank you for the uh, warm introduction. Um, yeah, and so we'd love to, you know, uh, first of all, great to meet everyone. And uh, <laughs> second of all, we'd love to tell everyone a little bit more about Lattice. Um, so I joined Lattice uh, almost three years ago. When, when I joined, we were about a, a 50 person Series A company. Uh, we've now made the unicorn list. Um, Going to end the year probably around 500 people, just shy of 500 people. Um, and so we've seen explosive growth and are going to, are planning for more growth, uh, next year. And, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're an HR, uh, software company. We primarily sell to fast growing companies historically, but now we're, you know, also going to be, uh, we have, you know, customers across many, many verticals, you know, you name it, uh, we have customers in it. Uh, and we're also, um, you know, going to be. Uh, expanding into Europe, and uh, ha- we'll have our first, uh, you know, London office here in a couple of weeks. Um, oh so wow! Exciting as well. We How is the expansion off. going with the pandemic and everything? Just curious, you know. Um, it's it's actually going surprisingly well. So there's a few macro trends. At the start of the pandemic, um, HR, you know, there was a definite, you know, companies affected. Companies were unsure, uh, and HR team was part of the, you know, effort to kind of regroup, but. I think in the last year or so, uh, after the first few months of the pandemic in the last year or so, we've definitely seen, especially in tech and, and other verticals where remote is possible, we've seen a explosion of growth um, pretty steadily uh, over the last year or so. It's actually, uh, at this point, probably surpassed pre-COVID uh, and given us the confidence to expand into you know new territories, right? We have... We had our SF office, we had our New York City office before the pandemic started, and now we have confidence that we're going to be uh, expanding into uh, into Europe. Uh, starting okay. With the UK and how your role, can you maybe specify more on that, Charlie? What do you do for the company? Yeah. So, yeah, as you mentioned, I'm the head of uh, demand, Jen. Uh, essentially, we're responsible for generating pipeline for our sales team to close business. Um, and that, you know, involves working with the content team and the events team to put out good programs and good campaigns, uh, you know, working with our product marketing team to make sure, you know, to make sure that our messaging gets, you know, in front of our prospects. Uh, and we kind of own the ad channels. We own email, uh, we own all the distribution channels, uh, or the vehicles that we communicate to our, our future customers and our customers. Okay. And what's been the most interesting project that you worked on specifically because you designed events, you worked with the content creation team. So what's been the most interesting project where you were like, okay, wow, I can see myself. I can see the impact that I made. I can see yeah. how it affected people. What, which one was it? Oh, gosh. Um, there, are a lot. <laughs> there are a lot. Uh, there's no there's no dry day at, at Lattice. We're, we're, we're pretty, uh, we, I think, we like to think we, we punch our, above our weight class in the marketing department, you know, and a lot of prospects when they come to us, they say, Oh, I didn't realize you were you were still that small. I thought you were a, a much larger company. Um, which is, <laughs> like that's what you want to hear in marketing. I would say the one project that uh, stands out is uh, we have a community called Resources for Humans. Uh, it is a community of uh, thirteen thousand plus HR professionals now, and part of that community will put on an, uh, an annual virtual conference. Well, you know, now it's virtual, but like a virtual conference that um you know essentially is the state of hr and every year there's a different theme this year is it's it's lead with empathy and um yeah we 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 basically built that hr conference from nothing in 2019 we did our first one in 2020 uh and this year we're anticipating 45,000 uh registrations and we have serena williams headlining that conference as well as you know 40 plus other hr leaders so it's been that's kind of going from amazing. literally zero to I think the biggest HR conference in the space, and that's just one of the things that we've been we've been uh, working on. Obviously, a team effort across it's not just demand, but you know across all of Lattice, if you will, to put on this event. But it's a it's a really uh, 
it's a really special event and we're proud of you know what we've uh what we've put out there of course and that sounds amazing but i'm curious how do you manage a community of thirteen thousand members because like usually there are rules regulations associated with the group so how do you make sure that everyone is on the line everyone has a consensus regarding what they're doing there just curious to see how do you ma- make sure to manage like if there's any conflict just curious yeah so we have so grace our uh, wonderful uh community and social manager handles the uh the community these days um, it started out as a, just a Slack channel, right? We, we just, we, we started out organically having like a few hundred people in a Slack channel and like discussions would happen, right? HR people are a lot of times are dealing with the same issues and, you know, pains. And there wasn't really a way to kind of talk to their peers and get their peers take. Um, and and that's where it started. Right. And there was a lot of discussions and that happened on that community and like, it just kind of grew organically. Um, and now it's this large community that, you know, we've even had meetups happen independently from this community. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out how to, um, sponsor those activities, but people just meet in the community and just go hang out. And like, we've had, you know, people just make friends and, and even like, you know, romantic relationships there. Right. <laughs> um, that's a tangent, but, it's, <laughs> we, we just wanted to create a community where folks can come together, uh, HR folks can come together, share ideas, discuss important topics and, you know, learn from one another. And I think uh, it's, it's grown to this, you know, really amazing thing. Well, certainly they did learn friendships bloom, relationships bloom, you guys did something right. So I'm pretty sure it worked out well. And I'm really glad to hear that such a community exists because I think a lot of people usually have a lot of problems, but then they're like, oh, they're alone. But to find you usually find comfort if you see other people going through the same thing. And when you discuss it, you're like, okay, we're on the same page. So it's great to see such a safe space that you guys have created. So thank you for being part of such an initiative, Charlie. Totally, yeah. And, and team effort, I, I don't, I probably have contributed one of the least of the team. I think it's uh, it's definitely a team effort, and uh, you know everybody at Lattice is I think is really proud of that community and. and has- okay, I'm sure they are. And Charlie, the one last question would be: um, What I've seen a lot of openings in Lattice. Can you tell us more about the openings? What kind of positions are open, and what kind of people are you wanting to join your team? Sure. Yeah. So uh, as I mentioned, Lattice, uh, we hit we we became a unicorn earlier this year at the beginning of this year. And we have uh, a product that we've been fortunate because our product team has gotten a lot of feedback from customers and it's grown into this thing that is, it's kind of built by our customers. We input, you know, we take product input and we've kind of built this people management platform. We have a lot of ambitious growth plans for next year, looking to roughly double. And the good news of, of that is we're hiring across all departments. I took a look at our, our careers page, uh, lattice.com slash careers uh, before this, and I try to count the amount of openings and I, lo- I, I lost count at 40 something. Um, but it, we're, we're hiring across engineering, we're hiring across design, we're hiring across customer success, we're hiring across uh, sales and marketing and really across the board and uh, open to remote as well. Okay, well, Charlie, thank you so much for sharing that, especially how you lost count, because I think that's a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. And Charlie, that is all for today. Thank you so much for coming on the show for sharing about your amazing company and what you do for the company. It was an absolute pleasure learning from you and about your experience. I really enjoyed our chat. Thanks for having me on.